Hello Aries, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at the person that you are thinking about or connecting with at this time. What do you need to know about them? What are they thinking or feeling about you? And what are their intentions towards you? As always, these readings are meant to be general, so they will not and cannot resonate with every Aries. Uh, and also, not every Aries reading will resonate, so take what resonates for you. What applies to your situation and leave the rest. So let's jump right in for Aries. Birds, angels, guys. Who or what is coming towards Aries? Who or what is coming towards oh hidden motives came right out. Who or what is coming towards Aries? Lasting promise, commitment. Longevity, future, this connection will stand the rest of the test of time and hidden motives, deception, secrets, avoidance. Someone's hiding their true motives. So I feel like this is something to do with commitments, long relationships or uh, actual relationship of some sort. This could also be in regards to the future here. Maybe someone um, is not necessarily being deceptive, but keeping something to themselves. Can I get some more insight for Aries? Who or what is coming towards them? Aries, this is of course a general reading. It will not resonate with every Aries watching. So please take what resonates for you and what applies for your situation and leave the rest. Check out my playlist for Aries. It's linked in the description box and there's a whole playlist with videos for your sign and there might be something in there for you. Um, number 16, thoughts. Someone's doing a lot of thinking and then bottom of the deck message about what to say here, what to tell you. Because I feel with hidden motives, there's something you might not know here. Tell me more for Aries. All of the decks that I'm using, by the way, are linked in the description box. Tell me more for Aries. June. Religious factors. So divine, divine timing, something that's divinely guided. We'll see when we look at the tarot. Usually that card is about spirit being involved in some way. This could be you and your per and this other person thinking about each other as well, Aries. We'll see. Let's see what the tarot has for you. Who or what is coming towards Aries? Who or what is coming towards Aries, Spirit? In love. Oh, we got the Page of Wands. We have Justice, Libra Energy. Who or what is coming towards Aries? Wow, Ten of Cups. Justice is here, for sure. You might be receiving a message from someone. What's this Page of Wands about? This page of wands about the chariot cancer energy someone can literally be coming to see you to talk or they want to talk about moving forward here some sort of move three of swords can get one more for this page of wands seven of pentacles so something maybe is not I feel like whatever this conversation is, it's not what you wanted to hear. Maybe it's a conversation about someone taking some sort of action, but perhaps it's gonna take longer than you expected. Tell me about this Three of Swords. Why is the Three of Swords here for Aries? 
Six of Wands. And the higher font. Mm. There's something to do with a commitment here. Another connection, or maybe you are married to this person, or this person's married to someone else, or in a commitment with someone else. Because now I'm starting to think of this this three of swords as a, a card about interferences. Something in the way here. Can I get one more? Nine of Swords. There's fear, anxiety, yeah. There's fear or anxiety, probably because something's taking longer than you expected. Tell me about justice. Why is justice here? The Hermit, Virgo energy. Why is justice here? This is that thinking card. Ten of Swords. Oh, I got two. The Sun and the King of Pentacles. Well, with the Ten of Swords, this is some sort of ending, obviously. The ending of a cycle, uh, a difficult ending, a painful ending, an ending that might hurt multiple people. But then I also have the Sun. It's like someone's thinking, I will have to make a difficult decision, but it's the best thing that I can do because I have the King of Pentacles here and the Hermit card. These, these two are very serious grounded energies. They don't do things half-assed. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, a Libra. I have Taurus and Virgo strongly here. I also have Cancer. Tell me more about the Sun. King of Wands. You know, someone's going to go after something here with the King of Wands and the Sun um, and the Page of Wands and the Chariot. Six of Wands as well. Chariot and the Six of Wands are cards about success. Page of Wands is a card about taking the first initial steps to get something done. Taking risks. Being bold. Same with the King of Wands here. So I feel like this is someone that knows what they want. And it's almost like it's tied to an official decision of some sort. Or Justice is here to right the ship. And someone knows that it's going to be difficult but worth it. That kind of energy. Now with the Ten of Cups here, I'm not sure. When I saw this card, I thought of a family. We'll see. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. What can you tell me about this Ten of Cups? Ten of Wands. So the third Ten here. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. The Tower. Yeah. This is tied to possibly a family situation. There's definitely a difficult ending here. I mean, that cannot be any clearer. I have the Tower, the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Swords. Tell me more about this tower. Why is the tower here? Eight of Swords, Death. Yeah, could have. Scorpio Energy, could that be any more clear? There is a difficult ending here, a, a shocking ending, a, a an ending that you can't go back from you know it's, it's, it's something that's definitely like over um with death with the tower with the ten of wands this could have something to do with a family this could have something to do with children this could have something to do with like um someone needing to do this to have emotional fulfillment um and this is who or what is coming towards you so this could be your person experiencing these difficult situations or you are and it affects your connection in some way. Let's get some insight into your person. Spirit, tell me more about this person. That Aries is dealing with. 
What do we need to know about this person that Aries is dealing with or in a connection with? Sensitive, responsive, and perceptive. What else can you tell me about this person? Grounded, balanced, and rational. Libra, ruled by Venus. This person could be um, a Libra, have Libra in their chart, or this is related to justice. This person could be the one that wants to make something right, balance something in their life. I have two cards about balance here. Um, I'm also getting like, this person is a thinker. Um, maybe they uh, are very, they, they hold things close to the, the chest or the vest. I don't know what that phrase is. You know what I mean? Where like someone is not very open with their feelings or emotions. They're more of thinkers than talkers. So I'm not thinking that this hidden motives card is all about secrets, but it could very well be that this person is planning in secret. So let's see what's next. Where is all of this headed for Virgo? I mean, not Virgo, Aries. Some of you are dealing with a Virgo, a Libra, a Cancer, a Scorpio. I mean, we have so many people here. Scorpio, Taurus. Who else is here? I think that's it. But Libra came up twice. And for some reason, Virgo is just, I'm thinking of this thoughts card. I'm thinking of this grounded card. It's very Virgo energy. Okay, what's next for Aries? If I've been saying Virgo <laughs> in this reading, it's probably because Virgo is just an energy that's coming up very strongly for this reading. Does not mean you have to be dealing with a Virgo, but I don't believe in coincidences. For Aries, please, Spirit. What's next for Aries? And for some reason, Aries readings, Leo readings, I always have like your person or your person's sign that's like very strong. It, it's almost like it always comes up in your readings and I call you that card or that sign. What's next for Aries? Yep, Ten of Swords. What's next for Aries? Ten of Wands. What's next for Aries? Seven of Cups, options, choices. After an ending, there's going to be choices to be made here. Options. I'm picturing a door opening. But I think this is going to really be um, a difficult ending. Whatever this is, whether this is you experiencing this or your person, I really feel like it has to do with a um, uh, commitment. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Yep, Ten of Pentacles, exactly. Why is the Ten of Swords here? The world, yeah. This is, this is a commitment of some sort, a family situation, um, an obligation that someone's basically ending in their life. I have the Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So with the world and the Page of Cups, it's like a new beginning here, possibly having to do with emotions, feelings, love. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Five of Cups, regrets, sadness, disappointment, past um, thoughts, Knight of Swords, picturing the tower here, what's this, Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups, wow, bottom of the deck, the Four of Wands, wow, I feel like the past is a burden for this person. Um, there could be some sort of communication happening here with the Ace of Swords and the Knight of Swords about love, about a new beginning in love, or about how someone feels. Um, I feel like this person wants a whole new beginning here. 
that is stable, grounded. The Four of Wands and the Nine of Cups are here. So definitely they want a whole new beginning here. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Seven of Swords. I think whoever's thinking about their options is doing this in secret. That's why we have thoughts and hidden motives here. Nine of Swords. There's a lot of thinking here. There's anxiety here because someone I feel doesn't want to choose wrong. Can I get one more for the Seven of Cups? Yep. Three of Swords. Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck. There's definitely... I was going to say death. There's definitely um, a third inner like person situation there's someone else here can you tell me about the three of swords why is the three of swords here yeah eight of swords can i get one more for the three of swords why is the three of swords here yeah this is um i feel another partner that someone is thinking about Maybe that's why they're not being very open about this. Because for a lot of you are dealing with a person who's already in a long-term commitment and that is ending or coming to an end. Can I get one more for this Ace of Swords and Knight of Swords? I want more for the Ace of, Ace of Swords and Knight of Swords. I feel like whoever is keeping this hidden or being sneaky in some way is because they are scared. Yeah, this is all about a conversation. Page of Wands. I have the Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So Six of Cups, Ace of Cups came up also um, here. So I feel like this is about a soulmate or very strong loving connection here with ace of cups and the six of cups um i feel like someone wants to talk about this either they want to talk about the kind of love that they want or um a past love or a new beginning in love i feel like this is where you come in aries uh, behind the six of cups we have the empress the king of pentacles and the lovers i mean are you kidding me Gemini energy with the lovers. This is definitely a very strong partnership, a partnership with with uh, the potential for growth, abundance um, with the Empress. So I feel like this is someone who wants to talk about how they feel. And it has to do with the past in some way because I have the Six of Cups and I have the Five of Cups here. The past could be a weight um, a burden, but I feel like it's also what they're thinking about for whatever reason. Can I get one more for this Ten of Swords, please? Can I get one more for this Ten of Swords? Death. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah. So I was just wanting confirmation, and it's basically the same message. <laughs> there is an ending here. A huge change. Aries, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed the reading, if it resonated for you, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing, uh, leaving me a comment as well. I'd love to hear from you and um, hopefully I will see you in another video very soon. Take care.